Yeah. YouTube. What's good? Back with another video. Let me be clear with you niggas right quick, y'all. She only can do what you allow her to do, bro. She can only do what you allow, bro. You know, like, a lot of y'all, I get a lot of this all the time. You be like, yo, why is she doing this? Why is she doing that? She, she don't suck my dick. She won't suck my dick. This, that, and the third. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Like, I can't even, these days, I can't even fathom a girl saying that type of shit to me. Because I'm like, bro, what the fuck make you think what that you have the audacity to not be sucking on the dick? Like, what the fuck, bitch? Like, she only do what you allow. She only gonna do, she only gonna do what she knows she can get away with, what you gonna tolerate. That's why I say when y'all being in a leadership position, you gotta be, a lot of this shit, you gotta take your emotions out of it and you gotta be firm with your, with the shit that you say. You can't just be making threats. And when I say threats, let's be clear, I'm not saying you beating her ass. I'm saying like, if you say to a girl, like this, this, and this, I'm only gonna tolerate this, this, and this. If you do this, I'm out, right? If I do this, if you do this, I'm out. And you don't be out when she does those things. She be like, oh, this, this shit's sweet. This shit's sweet. This nigga ain't on shit. And then she's gonna, and just like, and just like with anything else, she's gonna keep trying to push the envelope, seeing what else she can get away with. You feel me? So when you tell a girl something, when you be like, yo, I'm not tolerating this, this, that, and the third, this is my standards, this is my, these is my non-negotiable shits, that gotta be really what you mean, you feel me? Cause she gonna tell you up and down all day with what type of shit she not gonna tolerate. I ain't gonna tolerate nigga that don't take me on dates. I ain't gonna tolerate nigga that I hit cheating on me. Bitch, you gonna tolerate whatever the fuck I say you gonna tolerate, God damn it. You feel me? <laughs> But dead ass, yo, y'all gotta really grab y'all nuts and like be men, bro. Y'all be so scared to say certain shit to your girl, scared she gonna leave you, bro. Fuck that. At the end of the day, your happiness is. Shout out to Patrice O'Neill, the late great Patrice O'Neill. Your happiness is paramount. Your happiness is paramount. That means your happiness should be number one priority concern in your life. Cause I'm damn sure it's gonna be number one in her life, her happiness. So you better make sure, you better make sure when you deal with a girl, you and that's why I don't I don't condone lying to bitches these days. You know, I'd rather say keep it player, keep it all up front, tell her, yo, this is what I this is what I'm looking for, this is what I'm into, this is this is what I'm trying to do with this relationship, and let Shorty choose if she's gonna be around for it. It take all the headache and it take all the all the extra shit out of it. And take all the lying and, and hiding stuff all out of the equation. That way you can flow, you can flow your rotation or whatever you're gonna have, flow your relationship with dynamic with these girls smoothly. You know what I'm saying? She's only gonna tolerate, she's only gonna do what you allow. So if you allow her to be out in the clubs every night, partying with her, her friends, and you know her friends is, is, is fast and, and they're out there like that, that's on you. That's on you. You gotta take 100% accountability on shit. Even if you was 100% in the right and she is 100% in the wrong, she out there wilding and shit, it's still your fault. You know why? Because you picked the bitch. You picked her. You picked wrong. You picked bad. Because you probably seen all the red flags out the gate and still didn't give a fuck. Oh, she fine. She got a fat ass. She pretty as hell. I'm still gonna fuck with her. I get it right. I can handle that, bitch. No, you can't. No, you can't. Because if you could, you wouldn't even wipe her in the first place. Let me tell y'all something that's that's obvious, but it's not really obvious. Bitches love to talk. Girls love to talk, right? So with that type of information, right? I'm gonna show you where I'm going with this. Girls love to talk. So if you sit back and listen long enough. A girl is going to tell you what kind of girl she is. 
She's gonna tell you about herself. She's gonna, bitches love to talk. Bitches gonna spill the beans about herself, about her friends. All you gotta do is pay attention and decipher the right information from them. Decipher the right information from there. She get with you and she start talking about certain things. You just take a mental note and be like, okay, gotcha. She start talking bad about her friends around you, like, like dogging them out and shit like that. Take a mental note of it. She start, she just, I promise you, just pay attention to the conversation and type of shit she's talking about. It'll tell you her mentality. It'll tell you where, what she's into. It'll tell you all kinds of shit. It'll tell you about her past, this, that, and the third. And all you gotta do is ask the right questions and pay and, and decipher the right information. I'm not gonna tell you what question to ask. That ain't none of my business. You just gotta be more uh, curious. You gotta be more inquisitive about shit like that, right? But man, I promise you, these days, like I can't even. I understand younger. You know, you gonna put up with certain shit because you don't know the shit that you can actually say to a girl and not get smacked in the face. Or does not even give a fuck about her sucking her teeth, this, that, and the third. But I promise you, you got to be a man, bro. Girls respect men that's men. Like, men that's about some men that got principles. Men that, that ain't scared to lose them. You too scared to lose your girl, so you ain't going to say certain shit. You ain't going to put her in her place. You ain't going to tell her the shit that you're not going to tolerate. You too scared to be like... She be like, do I look fat? Be like, no, baby, you look, a no, bitch, you look, yeah, you look a little big. You looking a little big right now. You ain't, it ain't, you ain't gotta do it rude or nothing like that. I ain't saying that either. You ain't gotta be like, yeah, bitch, you fat. You ain't gotta do it like that. But it'd be honest with her. If she's asking a question, be honest with her. So often we try to, we try to hide our natural, our, our gut feeling and water it down because we too concerned about her feelings and anybody's feelings and shit like that. There's a way to be honest and, and kind at the same time. You don't gotta be rude. You don't gotta be overly aggressive with, with your honesty. But if she's saying, if you know that she look, that she's getting out of shape and you know you don't want her out of shape and she asks you if she's getting fat, yes, yes, you could lose, you could lose a little bit of weight. Yeah, you could, you could work on some stuff right here and there, you know, shit like that. And then if you really a real nigga, you know, you're going to take her to the gym with you anyway. She should be in the gym with you anyway. And if she don't want to go to the gym with you, that's another red flag. Because she's doing, you allow her to not go to the gym. You see how all this shit falls back on you? So you need to be, you need to have a, a set of standards, some, some, have some, have some nuts, for real, for real. Have some nuts, have some standards, have some principles, have some shit that you want. Cause you guys, you be so quick to be like, I want this, that, and the third from a bitch, but you ain't even leading her right. You ain't even leading her right. You ain't coaching her right. You ain't teaching her nothing. You ain't demanding nothing of her. You ain't demanding her to be more herself. You know what I'm saying? And this ain't for, this is more so for the niggas that's on they shit. You know what I'm saying? You can't be demanding certain shit from a girl and you ain't got nothing going for yourself. So let's be clear about that. You can't be demanding certain shit from your girl if you out of shape. If you ain't got no crib, if you ain't got no car, if you ain't got no money, you can't be demanding shit from a girl. You shouldn't even be worried about a bitch. And you ain't got shit going on, all right? This is for the dudes that's got their shit together that's about something. If you got your own money, you got your own car, you got your own crib, you know what I'm saying? You in the gym, your body in shape, and you with a girl, then you can start making these demands because now she's more apt to listen to you. She's more apt to listen because you are you were worth some you were somebody worth keeping. And she know that. You feel me? So yeah. If you if you're not in a position to make demands, don't make them. And don't be trying to deal with girls at this point in time. You know, get yourself together that way. When it is time for you, when it is your time, when it is your prime, you can call the shots and you can, you know, you can start telling the girl what she need to hear. You feel me? But it, it, it's not even just down to that because a lot of dudes just be soft too. And um, 
it be dudes that's married. It be dudes that got this shit together, and it's dudes that's married that still, you know, why does my wife, me and my wife don't have sex no more? We don't fuck, but fuck. Because you ain't allowing her to do certain. You allow her to do shit like that. Y'all still believe in that happy wife, happy life bullshit? That is some bullshit programming. That is soft as hell. Soft as hell. Being a fucking weenie. Not being a fucking dork. I wish, nigga, if I'm marrying a bitch, what, what the fuck make you think that she is allowed to not be having sex with me? You feel me? Especially you paying all the bills. This is for the 100% mentality, niggas. You paying all the bills. You providing a lifestyle. You doing all this, that, and the third. You a good dude. You know, you loyal to her. And she gonna, she's gonna not give you no pussy. How the fuck does that sound? So, you wanted a ring for me. You wanted me to say yes to you. So that I could turn down bitches. So that I could turn down bitches that's going. You want me to say yes to you. But you don't want to give up no coochie. So now I got to give up bitches. That is giving up coochie. That is giving up throat. How the fuck does that sound? This is why, this is why, this is why I encourage, like, if a bitch would say some shit like that to me, like, I would introduce the thought to her of, well, if you ain't gonna give me no pussy, then allow me to go get a bitch that is gonna give me some pussy. You feel me? Like, that type of shit. Cause it, Ain't no way in hell. And it just introduces that thought, that option to her. Because it just is, as mad as it sounds to you, as, as mad as it would sound to her, to be like, are you crazy? I ain't gonna let you get no pussy. Just that's how crazy the thought should sound to you that she should even be able to say, I'm not giving you no pussy. Do you get what I'm saying? Just introduce the option to her. Cause she's introducing you into her world, her thought process, her, goofy ass reality so and and if you're not going for it then you shouldn't be so she only going to do what you allow so you need to figure out what you want and what you are going to allow and and don't and don't steer away from that bro when y'all say some shit you got to grab your nuts and stand on that shit if you know if you know you don't want no girl that's fat and you tell her yeah, you can stand to lose some weight. Let's get in the gym. And she still don't want to get in the gym. And she start putting on some weight. Get the fuck out of there. Leave her ass. And you know the crazy part about that is? Bitches will gain all that weight. And then break, you'll break up with them. And then she'll try to get in the gym now. Because she knows she's going to have to compete in that open market. You can't be fat. I don't give a fuck what you, you motherfuckers think. Bitches, bitches say it all the time. Like, yeah, somebody like it. Yeah. Niggas will fuck you. Niggas will fuck you, but ain't nobody wife and no big bitches. I don't give a fuck what you say. And it ain't and it ain't no misogyny, it ain't no fat shaming. That's just the facts. That's what it is. Don't nobody wanna deal with that. When I could get when I could get a bitch, why would I why would I settle for that when I could get a bitch that's in shape already? You know what I'm saying? Especially if you ain't got no kid you a dude, you ain't got no kids and you and you got your shit together. Why excuse me? <laughs> they got that pre-workout for it. But yeah, why would you settle for that if you if you got all your shit together? Why would I settle for a girl like that? That don't make no sense to me. But yeah, yo, that's all I got for y'all, yo. Just a little quick video after the gym. Yo, she only do what you allow. So make sure you get some nuts, you get some principles, some standards, and you do not deviate away from them shit, bro. All right? And that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, though, it's Wolfgang Pete. It's Wolfgang Lifestyle. And I'm out.